Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. As you can see, we're going on a little road trip. I've got a list of stuff that I have to get. I couldn't find it at the first two places I went this morning, but I had to come back to finish out this uh, seminar that I've been in for the past three days. Of course, the seminar went over a half an hour and I'm antsy to get out and go for a walk and it started raining. So, rather than whine about that any more than I already have, I'm just going to go and try to get these items that I need to get. Okay, today's topic. There are so many things that are said about time. Not having enough time. Wish I had more time. I don't have the time. All that kind of stuff. And then you see people telling you, you gotta make the time. You gotta put in the time. You gotta blah, 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 time, 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 time. Okay, when it gets right down to it, there are only 24 hours in a day. In theory, you're supposed to be spending eight of those hours getting a good night's sleep. <laughs> yeah, fat friggin' chance. I rarely ever see that, and that's fine. That's not what I'm talking about. But let's just, for the sake of argument, say that you get eight hours of sleep. Okay. So now you've got eight hours of your 24 gone sleeping. Leaves you with 16. If you're like any other person, you have a job. And usually, and then this is all generalities here because everybody's different, but for the most part, in American society, in the United States, you have to have a job because you need money to pay to live. Most full-time jobs are considered eight hours. Now. That's eight hours sitting at your desk or actually doing your job. That doesn't include the half an hour to hour you get for lunch, and it definitely doesn't include the commute to and from work. Everybody's differs. Ugh. Everybody differs. Okay, but let's just say it's only eight hours. So that means that you've got eight hours of sleep and eight hours of work. There's 16. You've got eight hours left. Eight hours a day. What are you doing with that eight hours? Well, you have to live. So that means you have to get up in the morning. Let's just, and I'm gonna be giving you generalities here. You get up in the morning and you got a shower or you're like me and you shower the night before. Let's just say half an hour, half an hour to shower, maybe 45 minutes to an hour, depending on what you do. So we're just gonna go with an hour to prepare yourself for the day. After doing all that, you've got to eat. You've got to eat, most people eat at least three times a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm, let's just say you take a half an hour for, for breakfast, a half an hour for lunch, and an hour for dinner. Because usually you're having dinner when you're at home, you got a little bit more time to unwind, and we're gonna throw prep time in there and all that kind of stuff, but we're gonna say two hours of that time you're eating. So now you've got six hours left, okay. Now, you have to actually do things like grocery shop, or if you're like me, go to Target every damn day because you can remember all the shit you gotta get when you go shopping, so on and so forth. Let's throw that at another hour of doing things like shopping and getting stuff that you need to get to continue living and sleeping and all that shit. Okay, now we're down to five hours. So we get rid of most of people's days of stuff that you can't get away with not doing, all right? Now, do you have a social life? I don't. I don't hang out with anybody. I just do what I do. I hang out with my wife and my cat. Okay, but let's just say, for the sake of argument, that you do have a social life, or you're like me, and you have imaginary friends online. So you probably spend a good and I'm, I'm being really generously low with this estimate, an hour. I'm only gonna give it an hour. One hour to email back and forth, to chat, to text. Maybe you're one of those weirdos that actually calls people and you talk on the phone. Okay, so there's another hour. We're down to what? We're down to four hours now in your day that's left. Okay, four hours left. You have four hours. You've done everything you need to do to live. You've socialized a bit. You've got four hours left. What do you do with that four hours? Well, now that's what you've got left to create. 
So hopefully you got your shit together and you've already got stuff planned so that when you grab your cameras, you're ready to go. Now, for me, since I started doing this photography again, I have committed myself to taking one picture a day, editing it, and posting it on my Facebook. Pick of the day. How hard is it to take a picture? Well, it's not that difficult. Depends on where you want to go, what kind of picture you want to get. I was getting a lot of flowers because everything's blooming around here and it's beautiful. I've been doing selfies a few times because I'm the only person I have to shoot with. Okay, things like that. And filming. Now, filming because I'm filming like I am right now. What did I tell you? You might get a 7 to 15 minute video from me. And this is every day because I have posted every single day this year and quite a few last year after I started this. But I'm posting every day this year so far. So taking a picture and filming, that is a minimum of two hours. Just filming and getting the footage and getting, you know, the picture. Now you got to throw in editing. By the time I'm done editing a video, and that's from taking it off the, the camera, going through, picking out all the things that I need to make that video, and then going through and doing all of my edits, adding the music, re-editing, this, that, and the other thing, blah, 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 blah. Now you're talking, and again, I'm being generous here, another hour. So now that's another hour gone on top of the two hours it takes for me to film and to get pictures every day at minimum. So that's three hours gone now. What are we down to? I think we were at four hours, and, and now we're down to three. Now we have one hour left. One hour left in a day. What are you doing there? Okay, I didn't go through and put all the times that you have to go to the bathroom, that you might leave to go downstairs because you've got to do this, that, or the other thing, or anything like you have to go pay a bill, or you have to go meet somebody, or you have to do something this, that, the other thing, blah, 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 blah. What it boils down to is that with the 24 hours in each day that you have, pretty much in today's American society, they're taken up and then some. Because again, I was very generous on the amount of time that I gave for all these things. Because I can spend a lot of time preparing food and doing dishes and eating and a lot of time going to the bathroom and a lot of time going to all these places and driving around and getting shit that I need. It doesn't include anything that happens to come up. This is stuff that's just planned. What happens if I go to the botanical gardens and I'm filming and taking pictures? That's more than two hours, okay? If I go to the boardwalk, if I go to the Miyazaki gardens, you get what I'm saying? I mean, there's travel time involved and there's all this stuff involved. Now, this is all considering that right now I'm working from home and I don't have to drive anywhere because all that shit gets wiped out if I've got to travel. If I've got to travel, I'm gone by eight in the morning. And we're not talking about getting up and showering and taking an hour to get ready. This is me packed the night before so that when I get up, within 15 minutes of me getting out of my bed, I'm out the door. And then from eight o'clock until at least six that night, I'm driving around doing my job and then I have to go and find some place to eat, and then I got shit to do when I'm in the hotel room. So all that's gone, all right? Th what I'm getting at is that time is very precious. It's a very precious commodity. In fact, I think it is the most important commodity that, as human beings that we actually have, right? And that's why you always hear me harping on people wasting my time and me not wasting my time on people that waste my time. I mean, do you agree or disagree? I know that people have different schedules, you have different lives, you have different things, you have a different workflow and all that kind of stuff. But when you see, you know, uh, I always have to go back to, to Casey Neistat with his, you know, he gets maybe three hours of sleep a night and he's just doing all this other shit, you know, throughout his day. Okay, so we see, we see some videos where that's pretty much what he's doing. But you can only do that for so long because you're a human being. You have to get restful sleep. If you don't, shit starts deteriorating very quickly. And your body will not be able to put up with the stresses that you're putting upon it. So, you know, that sleep is important. That rest is important. You can't always be grinding. You can't always burn the candle at both ends while you're holding a torch to the center. 
It just doesn't work. So that means that you have to be very mindful of your finite amount of time that you have, and you need to plan to use that time wisely in a way that fulfills you and makes you happy. And that is not easy to do. Not in today's world, that's for sure. And I know that every generation thinks that they have it shittier than they had with generations before, or so on and so forth. You live in the time that you live in, and you have to deal with the shit that you have to deal with today, right now, in this world. So, all I'm saying is get your shit together and decide how you want to spend your time and what's going to fulfill you. And get out there and do it. Okay? All right, that's all I got for you today because I need to freaking go shop and I want to go home. So, thanks for joining me. Put any comments you might have down below. I would appreciate some interaction. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.